you. We turn now to a record number of loggerhead sea turtle strandings happening on the Texas coast. Between April 1st and August 19th of this year, there have been 282 loggerheads that were stranded in Texas, most of them being here in the coastal bend. And sadly, many of them do not survive. Brandon Schaff spoke with the folks at the Padre Island National Seashore today. And Brandon, give us an idea. What do we know so far? Hey, good evening, Mike and Leslie and experts have ruled out some potential causes like human related injuries and biotoxins thanks to blood samples of some of these stranded sea turtles. But Donna Shaver, who heads sea turtle science and recovery at the Padre Island National Seashore, says that there is still a long way to go to figure out what's going on. This is a large number of turtles, almost 300 stranded so far this year compared to on average for a year for the last 10 years, 109 for the whole year. Donna Shaver says these strandings are unusual since the ones washing up are both adults and large juveniles. She says it's usually the younger turtles that struggle to survive. It's really been a survivor up to that point. So then to see them die at this stage is, or be found so incapacitated and needing medical care is a big concern. Shaver says experts are still in the early stages of determining the cause. They've ruled out some possibilities already, thanks to research on turtles that have already died. Not knowing what is causing this, for one, and then not having a direct link to anything people are doing uh, makes it really challenging to try to, to uh, be able to help these turtles. Shaver says some potential causes could be related to diet since they are washing up malnourished. That could have to do with a lack of blue crabs. She says another possibility is lingering effects from the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. We're going to be satellite tracking some of these turtles once they are rehabilitated and then released to try to see where they go to. And maybe that can give us a hint at what is what they're being exposed to what might be causing this. Shaver also says that the Coastal Bend is fortunate to have the Animals Rehabilitation Keep, Texas State Aquarium and Texas Sea Life Center to hold and rehabilitate the stranded loggerheads. Now, however, if those facilities do reach capacity, they do have to send them elsewhere around the state or country, and that is a possibility. Mike, Leslie. All right, Brandon, thanks for that report.